Welcome to Jamaica, the island of real bad man. Some real dog at you, throw some real gang bang. No run for the fair, the knock your bitch man. Welcome to True Island Stories. This is the Charlie Webb story. The nemesis of Rockfort. Ever since the dawn of time, whenever there's war, whosoever claim the higher ground, claim the advantage in battle. Warwicka Hills is the perfect example of such advantage. It is rumored that when police and soldiers are on patrol and hear control calling them on their radios to dispatch them to areas like Warwicka Hills and Tiffany Gardens, you hear Patrol, Patrol 26, come in Patrol 26. Right control, this is Patrol 26 responding. Um, what's your current look, P26? We're heading in a southerly direction on Mountain View Avenue, uh, in the vicinity of Jarrett Lane. Do you receive that control? Save copy. Uh, copy P26, uh, could you proceed to the back bush area of Mountain View on the, at the foot of Warwicka Hills? Ten men were just seen on premises with high-powered weapons, dressed in military fatigues. Uh, do you copy P26? P26, do you copy? P26? P26, come in P26! Ribbit, ribbit, radio silence, battery dead. The corporal on patrol turned to the constable and said, Yo, Grimey, you have family around there, sir? No, answered Grimey. Then he turned to the landscape hall. Yo, Jergs, you have generation around there? No, I don't know about it around the copy. All right, then, said the corporal. I mean, I have not a chick nor a child around there, so as far as me concerned, them can go and go kill off them one another around there. When them dead, we go pick up your body and can't go give them Wait, how many have jerk poke with you on a riddles road yet, don't you? Whap them booba, me say whap them booba. Whap them booba, me say whap them booba. Booba. Booba, the artist of the 80s, was whapping them with a hot song. But this gangregious reptile was whapping the residents of Rockford and East Kingston with something else. Gunshot and bloodshed. His name was Charlie. Whap. Rockford top shutter Charlie Wap had a big brother named Batfink. He got that name because he had big ears. Remember the cartoon? Yeah. Rat bat ears. Batfink was no top shutter, no. He was something else more slithering. A thieving snake he was. He had his own gun, but would handle business if necessary. Fink was more a robber and liked to break into places like supermarkets and wholesale. And would go uptown every now and then, go rob rich people. As my granny would have said, but Fink chested high. Growing up, Charlie and his brother would go on the top of Warwick Isle Road with those farm hikers and slide down from Warwick Isle Foot all the way down to Rinward Road. Fun stuff they did in the garrison when not harboring thoughts of grand larceny or predial larceny or petty shop. Oh, the list was endless for those two delinquents. It was very dangerous though because on the way down at the intersection of Glasspool Avenue and Warwicka Road, cars would fly past without stopping. Even though there was a stop sign there, the cars going across Glasspool Avenue would ignore the stop signs. Accidents would take place very frequent. People dead. Mash up car, mash up windscreen, fly. One day, when Batfink was about 12 years old, and Charlie was about 8 at the time, Batfink broke into a gas station and pilfered wares that did not belong to him. Quite the role model for his impressionable little brother who looked up to him. He, Charlie might, had better luck looking down like a pig. Up didn't work out quite well for him, looking up to his brother. When Batfink was in his late teens or early twenties, I mean, 
Does it really matter a year or two for this leech of Costa Carta? He broke into the gas station across from KFC in Rockford. Either the silent alarm went off or Pat Fink didn't get out in time, but the police came and found him in the gas station. Come, 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 come. The police them light up Bad Fink. They shot him like a hundred times. Them say, you could have situated him like when Quarter Bridge here for 10 picnic in the ghetto. They slice them thin. That's you could have situated. Some would concur that that was an overkill. But, let's let sleeping dogs lie. Then Galalius tell me, say, Pongla Street and off here. No Lucy. Pat Fink died clutching a broken Pepsi bottle in his hand, his right hand. His favorite drink I might add. Oh, Charlie was very sad when his brother died. That was his only begotten, or should I say ill-gotten brother for want of a better term. Charlie was from a section of Rockfort named Scheme. The schemers are the baddest set of man them in a rock fort. Me no say the bad, me say the baddest set of man them in a rock fort. In scheme, you have different sections like bottom scheme, top scheme, Rosden Road, Barnes Road, etc. Well, Charlie, he was from Rosden Road. Barnes Road was like two streets across from Rosden Road. By now, Charlie was in his late teens and moving towards being a full-fledged top flick flick. Rosden would have a lot of teenagers, some serious vermins. Whenever the Rosden Road them you would get out of line, the Barnes Road man them would have beat them up. Come, 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 come! You know them foot, wand them up, leg them up. Make them know what time it is. No games on here. Hurry around things. Be having a self look up. Oh, I'm torn. Oh, I'm torn. Banjo at the time was the strong arms in the scheme. And the umbre in charge of Banjo was a umbre named Baltis. His underbosses were two notorious top flickers. Two brothers, Barda and Screw. Them no played paper. Eh eh. No playing any of them things. Not even ring gate, them not play card pack, them not gamble, not play. Mm -mm. When gambling are going, them, them, them draw less card, them not play. No kind of planes. They had a dude named Burrow and another ex soldier. But that ex soldier, he was batshit crazy. That's why he got kicked out of the army. Whenever Barnes would had beef with any other car in Rockfort, the ex-soldier would snap into action and snipe them from long distance. He was a sniper in the army. He was not one to be played with. He was trained in the art of military combat. He mastered the art of camouflage. He would wait on his target for days in the bushes in the middle of handsness, wasness, dog shit, lizard scrawl pan, chimmy dash with piss pan. Yet, he wouldn't break regimental disguise for nothing. Not until he fired that one fatal one shot, one kill. He was lethal with a rifle. One day something went down on Barnswood, man, and went down to Rustonwood and beat everybody pan Rustonwood. Wap, boop, bop, boop, bop, bop. And I get broke, foot I get broke. Bro, head boss up. Bop, 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 bop. That wasn't the first though they flexed their muscles on the weaker man, them pan Rustin Road. But it sure was going to be the last time they did that. Broad daylight, Charlie. Unprovoked, rank and fiercey, rising 45 and sneak up on some bands road, man. Come, 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 come. Charlie emptied out the whole clip on them. He really caught them off guard because nobody would expect anyone would ever try that with them. Bands road, man, them, you're mad. They were the rulers of the scheme. They had rifles like the US military. I'll tank them here, say, don't they? Don't quote me a mouth, say. So when Charlie did that, 
He caught them with them finger and them mouth to play them near me. But unbeknownst to Charlie's friends, he took a back fence and ended up back on Rusten Road and then told him what he had just did. Charlie had just went and poked the bear and knew that they only had pebbles to throw at it when it was mad and came back charging at them. So they knowing what was coming next, they all headed back to another side of Rock Fort named Jesse City. That was another garrison part within itself. They went there to seek refuge from the anticipated avalanche. But Jesse City welcomed them with open arms. Iron sharp iron, that's what they say. Because even though Jesse City had their shooters, they didn't mind having some younger juveniles from the infamous scheme on their team. Jesse City is where the infamous Anthony Brown and George Flash are from. And at that time, they were in Cuba because the government had sent them away because they were the most wanted men in Jamaica in the 80s. Charlie and his homies from Rushton Road would sneak up on bands run by them every now and then and surprise them with AK and fire enough shot. Come, 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 but for the most part, Charlie would go by himself. He was like a one-man army. He had no fear. Even though the worst they knew, they were dwelling in Jesse City. Jesse City, they weren't really involved because they knew if they got involved in the war, it was not going to be pretty because the whole scheme would have joined together and come shell them down. A gunshot to the fire upon them round there. So they stood back and let Charlie and the Russ then you them shoot them up and deal with it. Charlie really had the advantage because he had the hill. Yep, he stayed on top of Warakai like the Lion King. He saw everything and every move that was taking place down on the flats. One day, he saw one of the Barnsroad men them leave Barnsroad heading towards the main. The main which is Winward Road. Charlie run out of Warwickal breathless like the sheriff and him pass you run him down. <laughs> Charlie where you go? <laughs> We're so far. We're so far out man. He caught up with the dude right in front of Rockford power plant with him 45 and I man. Charlie shout out his name. Yo Bolo! And Bola turned on and sight was Charlie. His eyes opened wide like a sight worker would just go by half a bed and using dirty cement finger spread out the margarine butter in there. Charlie shot out, and me I said, I go, I'm come, 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 come. I empty out the whole eye clip in my wild pipe. Charlie reloaded his gun with a second clip and head broke up where he came and was all right. Well, me just wake up the hyena, them and the wolverine, them now, and them come out strap up like mommy. But Charlie had no fear because to get back to where he was, towards Jesse City, he had to go through the scheme. And I guess I am more like enemy them there. And his way back, he shoot his way out from every corner. Clam, 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 clam. Boom, 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 boom. Pam, 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 Charlie outmaneuvered them and made it back safely to the hills. Not even a kitten scratch no the pan Charlie. I saw him sit down and I clean off him black and I tell a youth name, Scuffy Shubber Dirt. Oh, Scuffy, how them poos wore it? I'm more than a wicked man. I'm more than a wicked man for man. i be a chat the about chat of them 32. I'm me alone just got tired of the boy and him ball up on the front. I do all that wild pipe man eat out a while ago. I don't me I tell it. I'm more than a I'm a dust me dust up the men that come up back here road. I'm alone man. I'm to them boy more than that. Yo, ja, yo, me, oh. Boy they are full upon the flats. My schemers boy they are full. Yo. That killing, however, made Charlie Rockford's most wanted man, both by the lawmen and by the wicked schemers, gangsters, the top flickers. He was wanted dead or alive. Either way, didn't matter to them. 
Another day, Charlie was in the hill, scoping out the whole neighborhood as usual, and saw this kid named Clayton talking to a brother named Dandan. Dan. Now, Dandan Dan was the boss of a section of Rockford named Gully. Now, Gully man named and Banjo and man were allies at the time because of that now, by default, Charlie was at war with Gully men them too. Now, Gully is that street next to KFC in Rockford. Anyway, Clayton was really a top flick flick, you know. But Dan Dan did really like him and would give him, you know, a one gun every now and then for go muggle and show off. On the front, you know, thing upon him, he pan upon him belly and, you know, upon that thing, you know, upon that thing, you know, Dan Dan just give me, you know, it's cool, man. I'm sitting, you know, I'm sitting, you know, cool, man. You can't see this one, cool, man. You can't see this one. The man used to love watch Clayton to be a bum flick. Yeah. He was very good at bum flick and back flick. The man himself watching Clayton was like watching the Olympics. He was the first youth in the ghetto they ever saw with those skills. All 20 back flick. And a couple of summer sauce up Glasspool Avenue. The whole street would go and reel up. Roll Clayton! Hey, Clayton! Anyway, Charlie watched Clayton until he walked up gully to Glasspool Avenue and then turned towards Shantytown. Now, a little history. Because Rockford is a precious place, precious geographic in our history. Shantytown was like the African culture section of Rockford. That's where the group Mystic Revelation was from. They are the ones that made the big monster hit. Oh Carolina, you're us. Umbo, oh Carolina. Yeah, that same song, Shaggy sang over and turned it into a big hit. Yep. And that's where Count Ozzy is from, a man like Billy Bap. Now, who is Billy Bop? Billy Bop was a little short rasta that was beating the drum behind Selassie when Selassie visited Jamaica. Understand the levels. Ja Rastafari. Shantytown is where kids in the community would go to the African library and also learn to beat Congo and Kete drum. Boom, 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 psh, yeah. A very famous soccer player also came from that neighborhood. The unruly one, as some would prefer to refer to him as. But super talent nonetheless. Irreplaceable, if you ask me. His name was, yes, you guessed it, Onandi Nanalo. Anyway, Charlie made a dash out of Warwick Isles towards Shantytown. And that's where Clayton was heading. When Charlie got there, he saw some men a boon chalice and he joined in. And him just bill back. And he watched Clayton walking towards them. Coming towards him, Charlie, because he was sitting with them burning chalice. Charlie was so calm. He took two jaw out of the chalice and said, Clayton! Yeah, chalice. Clayton took the chalice and blessed it by praying. Ja Rastafari, Holy Celestial Emmanuel, I bless this chalice and Allah. Ja Rastafari, ever living above. Come, 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 come! Charlie put the 45 to the back of his head and blew out him brain. Brain tissue and marrow and blood was everywhere. Pan the chalice chilwalgi. Pan man face in a man mouth. Mm. And someone a pit out brain. Charlie, hold on. Charlie, hold on. Charlie just calmly walk back towards Warwick Isle. I eat two steel guinea pigs in my pocket from about day four yesterday. And then I pit out the ball. So I guinea pig, I said, man, watch me, ma. Shantytown, Jesse City was at war. And Charlie was linking with Shantytown, man, them. Now, the dude that was running Shantytown at the time named Mackerel. And Charlie and Mackerel, pony fiber virgin. But in the middle of the war, Charlie was still going back and forth to Shantytown. And because of his name, he thought he was untouchable. Jesse City man they made after him, you know, several times in fact, and he got away. So they waited until he was in his house sleeping. A jabungi. <laughs> then they went in after him, had rifles, no one gun, and kick in into a boom, 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 and wake him up. Charlie side the play and reach him glass. Come, 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 come,
them shoot off the hand when I reach for the gun and light him up in my bed. Brrr, boom, 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 boom. We can all conclude that Charlie died in his bed. Many would like to die in their bed, peacefully sleeping. Well, Charlie, hmm, I beg to differ. We have come to the end of the Charlie Webb story, which is the truth. Join us on True Island Story for our next episode. And look out for our stories coming out on iTunes and Amazon and Pandora, several stores. And remember, if you pick up the gun, then there's a chance you might end up on True Island Stories. What? Will you choose? Uh... I am Joy. Peppa, you know the real Jay Tender. Huh? How I go? Sometimes the road tough side slow. <laughs> real patriots never buck, never fall. How they get to run? That's why. Fuck from the boy, I wanna do that. Do it. Oh no can't tell me child, oh no boy Who from your soul don't know a wrong boy Yo, man I'm a fan And a man bust a shot him off a pack up and do it Bind it on him head back and do it Pop off his truck and friend him for do it None of that man No assumption, that's how the ground work yeah. Power, married to corruption Criminal, bread from limited options Ten generation, I see the set song One one head man will live long, name one Forever be road not done, name one And good and his politician, name one And get a youth, resilient task Work from the boy, I wanna do that Do it Who no can't tell me jail, who no do it Who from your soul don't know what wrong do it Yo, yo, now a man get a boy And a man bust a shot him off a pack up and do it Bind it on him head back and do it Pop off him shop and him friend him for do it None of that, yo a man get a Things risky, fed misfit Dead trade fit the logistic Fiskis Ha! I want the biscuit Ha! Beat of crackers when we whisk it Ha! Uh-huh. Hmm. You're not listening Crime live here so it's not visiting Visitors careful they know what the business is Murder, plunder, pillage in who? Bloodshed in all the villages You name it, you will live in it Get rich and do a special delivery Nightmare In time and the images Vengeance Blow the cycle container my gut no, you see the but it's no revenge Looking at the mirror, there is no difference Man, we're full of hey. How we know we friends? Back from the boy, how we not do that? Do it! Uh. Oh, no, can't tell me, child, how no do it? Uh. Move from your so we don't know how uh. I'm Do it! Yup! Now I'm on the top uh. Any man does not shut him off, he back up and do it! Mind it on him, head back and do it! Uh. Pop off him, strap on him, friend him, for do it! No, not that you are man better be No assumption, I saw the ground run Power, marital corruption Criminal, dead from limited options Ten generation, passing the set song One one, dead man will live long Name one, bring the fella We know, no name one One honest politician, name one Who, can get the youth resilient Fuck from the boy, we not do that Who, can't kill the child on the back who from your soul don't know what wrong do it Eh, yo, now a man get a boy Eh, the man does not shut him off a pack up and do it Bite it on him head back and do it Pop off him strap on him friend and do it Eh, yo, you know the thing going to suck a seat up a big thing Eh, man, take your tongue Pour it, pour it, man Pour it, man Pour it, man Pour it, man